Pemirsa 22 pembalap dari 11 tim akan berlaga di seri ketiga balap dunia Formula E yang akan digelar di sirkuit Ancol Jakarta Sabtu besok. Salah satunya adalah Lucas Tigrasi, pembalap asal Brazil yang saat ini menjadi pembalap tim Rocket Venturi Racing. Rekan Lady Marina berkesempatan mewawancarai Lucas Tigrasi terkait kesiapannya menghadapi race pada hari Sabtu besok. Good afternoon, Lucas Igrasi. How are you doing? Very well. How are you? Well, I'm doing very good. Welcome to Jakarta. It's been waiting you. for you. First time in Jakarta, first time in Indonesia. It's always a, a pleasure to, to come and meet uh, new people, to know a new country. It's always oh, very wow. good. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your time in Indonesia. Thanks. Okay, so since this is the first time you and the other of the racers having a race in Jakarta, do you have any strategy or how do you feel actually about this kind of race that you have no idea how is it going to look like? Correct. So it's the first time that everybody is going to drive the track. Mm -hmm. uh, so the challenge is to get adapt very quickly to the track. We've been preparing on the simulator. We have a very specific, mm -hmm. uh, a very complex simulator that we prepare a lot. Um, and the main difficulty here on top of being a new track will be the heat. The heat. The heat affects a lot the tires and the battery. Mm -hmm. So the, you, you have to make the right settings and the right uh, decisions uh, to make sure that we have an advantage over the others. So far, how do you think about Indonesia or Jakarta's weather, especially because I think it's scorching hot right now. It's a, it's a typical equatorial mm. uh, weather, yes. very humid very hot a bit like the amazon in brazil like yeah. the north of brazil yeah i'm from brazil so right. um different from sao paulo but it reminds me a lot when you go to the north so you have the rain in the end of the day you have a lot of uh, humidity in the air um for us i think for the driver it will not be a problem mm -hmm. in terms of it would be hard physically yes but not a problem mm -hmm. the main thing again would be to to make sure that the car can cope with the extra temperature because uh, with this kind of weather i think it's quite hard for all the racers to get really focused on the race because well you know it's scorching hot because you have to wear your suit and well, I think that, else. That's, that's not a problem i think uh, you'll be sweating a lot the suit mm -hmm. will be completely wet you're gonna lose maybe two three four kilos during the yeah. race but we've been trained to do that okay um and then of course uh, making sure that the team is also doing well because we need the mechanics, the mm -hmm. engineers, everybody to be yeah. uh, on top of their game. All right, and the last one, how confident you are to face the race on uh, this Saturday? I'm very confident. I think we're going to have a good result here mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward for the weekend. All right, then. thank you very much, Lucas Dikrosi. Once again, much. welcome to Jakarta. Thank I hope you have a lovely time. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Dan bisa demikian wawancara kami dengan salah satu pembalap Formula E yang mengatakan bahwa ini akan menjadi sirkuit yang cukup menantang karena ini akan pertama kalinya dijajal, dicoba oleh seluruh pembalap Formula E yakni sirkuit Ancol Pademangan Jakarta Utara. Pastikan Anda menyaksikan Formula E yang tayang pada 4 Juni hanya di RCTI. Dari Jakarta, Lady Marina, Jamie Jasin, Muhammad Khoirudin dan Sugi Cahyadi melaporkan.